Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving an exponential system, sort of. We have 2 to the power x equals 3 and 3 to the power y equals 2. And now we're going to evaluate, based on the values of x and y, we're going to evaluate 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over y plus 1. I'll be presenting two methods, and the first method is going to use logarithms. Let's get started. So I have 2 to the power x equals 3. I want to use natural log to turn this into an equation that I can plug in. Because what I want to do here is to isolate x. So ln both sides. ln is natural log, by the way. And then bring the x down. That gives us x times ln 2 equals ln 3. And then divide by ln 2. So that's the value of x in terms of uh, natural logs. So if you found the numerical value for x, obviously you can plug it into a calculator or computer or whatever, but we don't need it. This is exact, that's good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the y. 3 to the y equals 2. And like before, let's align both sides. And then we want to bring this to the front. and then divide both sides by ln 3. And that's going to give us the value of y. Have you noticed something about x and y? I hope you did. They are reciprocals, yes. Is that going to help? Definitely, and that probably gives us another you know, alternative method, maybe a 1b. But let's see how this plays out with the 1a first. So let's go ahead and plug it in. We have 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over y plus 1. Now we're going to replace x with ln 3 over ln 2. And then plus 1. And y with ln 2 over ln 3. And then plus 1. Obviously, we need to make a common denominator, right? Or you can do the following. Multiply by ln 2 here, the top and the bottom. So you can kind of multiply like this. And multiply by ln 3 here. Okay? And then use this weird property. That seems a little easier. It's the same thing, but we're going to avoid making common denominators this way. So now the numerator, the first one is going to be ln 2. When you distribute ln 2 over this, ln 2s are going to cancel out. You're going to end up with ln 3 plus ln 2. And the second one is going to give you ln3 over, when you distribute, your ln3 is going to cancel out. You're going to get ln2 plus ln3 because you're going to multiply by 1 and that's going to give you ln3. Make sense? Now we are adding two fractions with the same denominator, right? So we can just add the numerators, ln2 plus ln3 over ln3 plus ln2 or ln2 plus ln3, same thing. And these Two things are equal, so they cancel out and gives us 1. So the answer is 1. Great. So what is the reciprocal thing that I was talking about, right? I said that y is the reciprocal of x, so we can basically write y as 1 over x, as you can see from here. And then just plug it into the original problem. So instead of dealing with the numerical values, I could just do this. Replace y with 1 over x. And then just do the same idea, but this time we're only going to multiply by x here and here. And then when we do, x is going to cancel out, then we're going to get 1 plus x. So it's going to be 1 over x plus 1 plus x over x plus 1. And then we can just add the numerators, and that's also going to give us 1. But notice that here we did not have to plug in the numerical values for x and y. We used the relationship between x and y, which is y equals 1 over x. So we use the fact that these two are actually reciprocals. Make sense? So that's 1b. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Second method does not use logarithms, so if you're new to logs and you don't want to use them, and that's totally fine, understandable, you can use this method. So you can stick with exponentials. 2 to the x is 3, and 3 to the y is 2. This just 
takes a little bit of tweaking to get what we want, but it's, it's doable, hopefully. That's what I'm thinking. So we have 1 over x plus 1 and 1 over y plus 1. So I don't have x plus 1 here in the numerator. But notice that to get x plus 1, I just have to think about this. What is 2 to the power x plus 1, right? It is 2 to the x times 2 to the 1. And I do know that 2 to the x is equal to 3 from here, right? So it's just going to be 3 times 2, which is 6. Awesome. So here's what I can do. I can multiply both sides of this by 2 to get x plus 1 in the exponent. Make sense? Great, let's do it. 2 to the x times 2 equals 2 to the x plus 1, and that's equal to 2 times 3, which is 6. Awesome. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other exponential, but this time you've got to be careful. You need to multiply both sides by 3, not 2, because the base is 3 here. Make sense? So we start with 3 to the y equals 2, and then go ahead and multiply this by 3 to the first power, which is 2 times 3, which is 6. So this gives you 3 to the power y plus 1 equals 6. So these are the two things that we're going to use. 2 to the power x plus 1 and 3 to the power y plus 1. But remember, I told you, we're not going to use logs. We're not going to use logarithms here, okay, right? So how can we handle this problem without using logarithms? I have 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over y plus 1. How can I use this, right? Exactly. So here's what I can do. I can just go ahead and turn this into uh, like an exponential. For example, I can raise both sides to something. Maybe to get what uh, to get 2 to the power x plus 1, I don't have x plus 1, I have the reciprocal. So this is what it tells me. I can just reverse this, right? How do I do that? Let's go ahead and take care of that first. So the idea is from 2 to the power x plus 1 equals 6, I want to get something that has 1 over x plus 1. So let's go ahead and do this. Raise both sides to the power 1 over x plus 1. Of course, we have to assume that x does not equal negative 1, and you probably know x equals negative 1 does not satisfy this equation, right? So it's good. Now x plus 1 cancels out, and we end up with the following. 6 to the power 1 over x plus 1 equals 2. Awesome. And then let's do the same thing for with, to the second one. I got 3 to the y plus 1 equals 6. And now let's go ahead and raise both sides to the power 1 over y plus 1. And then y plus 1 is going to cancel out. And we're going to end up with 6 to the power 1 over y plus 1 equals 3. Great. Now these two exponentials have the same base. So I can multiply them. Make sense? 6 to the power 1 over x plus 1 times 6 to the power 1 over y plus 1 equals 2 times 3, and that's equal to 6. Now, why did I multiply these two things? The idea is to get to this, right? 1 over x plus 1. So this is my idea. I need to get to 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over y plus 1. And to add them, I just need the rule that says if you multiply two exponentials or powers with the same base, you add the exponents. Make sense? So that's why I multiply those together. And now notice that this gives me 6 to the power of that. So let's go ahead and write it differently. 6 to the power 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over y plus 1 equals 6. And this means that the exponent is 1. And that's what I was looking for, right? And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.